In this video, we're going to take a look at some of the menu options underneath the accounts receivable that I think are important. Uh, one of the first things we're going to look at is what do we do when we set up a job? You know, we're going to get a job. We need to keep track of what's going on in that job. So what we do is we have a screen here, and this is our 3-5. One of the things you'll get used to in Master Builder is that we always use numbers, and this is our 3-5 screen. And I'm just going to kind of go through this. I hate to be tedious here, but I think it's important that you see what we capture. You know, there's a name. There's a long name who is a customer, who the contact information is, phone numbers. Uh, is there an architect associated with this? Yes, there is. Is there a lender, who the bank is? Who is our superintendent on this project? Uh, if you have salesmen in your organization, who's the salesman that should get a commission check on this job? So we're going to put that in there. And I always like to track who estimated the project because I like to see how successful and how accurate they are. The other thing is we have several statuses to jobs. Obviously, they all start out as bid. The worst thing that happens is you don't get it, so it's a refused job. And then we have a couple other statuses, and when they finally are finished, we close them, and, and, they, and they disappear from the reports, which is nice. The reports aren't bogged down with uh, closed jobs. This is always catered to the individual company. Uh, how do you segment your work? Uh, is it medical versus uh, retail versus uh, multifamily? But these job types will also allow you to do profitability, pro, excuse me, profitability reporting by individual segment. And then some of just accounting things down here. Uh, down at the very bottom, lots of dates that a lot of people want to track, and they're tracking them outside of systems or they're by hand. But what day does the bid open? When do we get the plans? Is the bid completed and ready to turn in? Uh, what date did we go to contract? Uh, when did we start? And when do we finish? Uh, and if, do we follow the, file the final lien? Th that's all here on one screen. And if I'm the owner, this is really important. If I want to see the budget, it's a mouse click. If I want to see the original proposal, a mouse click. If I want to see all of the change orders on a project, there they all are. Again, you know that I can double click here, right back to the detail for that change order. Uh, a contract summary. What was my original contract? Have we got approved change orders? What's been invoiced? What is the balance due on my contract? Are there some pending change orders that have not been signed yet? And what has been held in retention? And what is sitting in my AR account? So. Uh, in one place, I can see everything I need to about this project. Again, uh, that is a really big deal if you're using a lot of different systems to track information. It's all going to be done here in one system. The next thing I'm going to look at is how do we set up a customer? And again, I'm not going to go through all the detail. It's something if we need to, you can call and we can do this. But again, uh, what's their co co contact information, email addresses? Is it fax numbers, telephone numbers? Uh, is there shipping addresses? Is there payment information? Do I have a credit card on file? If it's that, what kind of what jobs have I done for this person in the past? Uh, there they are. What what are my AR invoices for this customer? Well, this is a good one. Nobody this person doesn't owe me any money. But all of these things, if you look across the bottom here, uh, if you're using other systems, you may have to go to three or four places. But we try and su summarize everything according to this client right here on one screen for you to see. The other thing that's important is I've got to make collection calls. We all have to do that. Uh, one of the nice things about Master Builder is we have what we call, not an aging, but we call it an AR call sheet because this is what we're going to make our phone calls from. Here's a job. It's the Board of Education. My contact is Sharon White. I have one phone number for an extension, her fax number, and hopefully in some cases we have an alternate telephone number. But underneath here you can see that we have notes for this project. What is, what is going on with this project? Uh, what is the monthly billing progress due or when they're due? Uh, if there was a note in there where I talked to um, Susie, we'll just say Susie, and Susie says, hey, I'm going to mail you a check uh, number 546. It's on my desk. It has to be signed, but it'll be mailed today. Well, when I make that collection call next week, that note is not on a sticky note. It's not on a pad, flip back three pages. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, it's right here. As I'm making that phone call, I can see the note that she gave me last week because I tied it to this contract or I tied it to the invoice. I can see exactly what's going on. I can see what the aging is. I can see whether it's due or past due, et cetera. Everything is right here. As I make those phone calls, I'm not searching for information. And that is important when you're dealing with your client that you're on top of things, that you have everything you need in front of you. Again, we do a great job at segmenting jobs and tracking individual pieces of jobs. We track all of the information per client, and we have a great call sheet, all part of a great AR system. In a later video, if you, if you need to see it, there'll be a video on the progress billing, 
We'll be doing a progress on unitary billing for the people that do heavy highway work. And we're going to do T&M billings, which if you're doing any T&M work or you're doing change orders on T&M, a great system to, to prepare the bills and to track the costs that are associated with that. So anyway, that's accounts receivable, uh, kind of a quick overview, uh, but it does track a lot of information and it's always available, again, at your fingertips when you need it. Thank you, and I hope you guys can have time to watch the rest of the videos.